Cobalt Strike by Help Systems is an adversary simulation tool that provides red teams and researchers with a highly flexible command and control framework that allows them to bring their own tools and customize their workflow. Cobalt Strike consists of three main parts, the team server, the client, and the malleable C2 payloads known as beacons. The team server and client are deployed in a simple client server hierarchy. As the name implies, the team server is designed to accommodate multiple simultaneous operators, allowing them to perform various collaborative tasks and communicate real time in a team environment. The Cobalt Strike team server can be placed virtually anywhere, as long as the client and beacons can communicate with the team server via the network or internet. Beacon egress traffic can be customized to use commonly allowed outbound IP communication methods, including HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS. Once deployed to a target, the beacon payload effectively models an advanced actor, allowing the operator to gather reconnaissance data, identify additional networks or systems, and perform post-exploitation activities such as user enumeration, process hijacking, elevation of privilege, upload or download files, and spawn additional payloads. Beacon chaining allows multiple beacon targets to be controlled via one or more egress beacons and peer-to-peer -peer communication between beacons via TCP and SMB provides additional communications flexibility. With Cobalt Strike, red teams have a proven, flexible platform to work from, allowing greater success in adversary simulation. Cobalt Strike allows operators to incorporate or write their own tools or use community-based add-ons available via the Community Kit or Cobalt Strike Arsenal. Additionally, Cobalt Strike centralizes beacon output to assist in administrative and reporting functions. Cobalt Strike's built-in reporting engine can output data and team activity in both PDF and MS Word formats. For more information on Cobalt Strike, email us at info at helpsystems.com.